Boom! What's up everybody? My name is Kim Scoggle and today we'll be taking a look at the Gradient tool which I think most people take a little bit for granted. It's a really quick, fast, easy way to make huge color alterations that looks great on your images, especially landscape and portrait, but we'll be concentrating on landscape today. And uh, I have this image here from uh, Frank McKenna. This is how it comes off of stock here. I just found a random one. So I made two things. I made a gradient and I made the waves pop a little bit more. So this is what I'm going to be trying to replicate now in under five minutes for you all. So if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave some comments down below. I want to know if you use the gradient tool as much as you should. And uh, if you find a new trick here to, for your uh, editing or So we're just gonna get straight to it. I'm gonna delete these two layers. I'm gonna take my phone up here and we're gonna set the stopwatch just so I know I'm not going over five minutes. And we're gonna start right now. You got your background image set the make yourself a new layer go to the gradient tool we're gonna have on the context we're gonna have fill under type we're gonna have elliptical you can bring it out here just so you can see what you're doing by clicking and dragging we're gonna go here to this fill box or gradient box we're gonna click here then go down to color i'm gonna find a nice burning orange color look just like so and then I'm going to go here, mark this end, click here, and I'm going to actually choose a like purplish color here. Like so. And you can see here now we have sort of the burning sun. We got some gradient out into the blue. And I think this might be looking good. So I'm going to keep it like that. We're going to mark this uh, gradient we just made, that layer. Go to blend modes, go down to soft light. Now, what we gotta do here is reposition this, but as you can see, I lost my adjustments here. So if I click here and drag, it reverts back to uh, black and gray or white and gray. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here, make sure we change this back to elliptical, click here again. Then go to swatches because you just made this. It will be up here under reasons. And then just click there. Now, if you hold on control, you can take out here and move this whole thing. If you click, you don't have to have control down to move it here. So put that in the center of the sun. I'm going to zoom out a little bit with control minus. Then I'm going to hold on shift and I'm going to just move it just a touch. So in uh, about 45 degree increments there, and then I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit more, just till we can hit the end here. Then you can adjust here with the slider on how much the gradient you want to be of the gold burning or how much the bluish purple. So I'm gonna keep it just right around here. I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard. And I actually think that looks pretty good. It, might be a little bit over, over colored, over saturated for some people, but you could always just go drag down the opacity a little bit. So I'm gonna turn this layer off. We're on two minutes and 40 seconds right now. I'm gonna fix the waves here. So mark the background layer, go down here, get our curves tool. Just click in the middle, drag it upwards until you get pretty nice looking waves, close it. Hold on Alt, go to the, the mask layer here. Make sure you mark the, the mask. Hit B on your keyboard. Make sure you have white as foreground color. And then I'm just gonna drag it over here and here just to pop it a little bit. I'm gonna make the brush a little bit bigger and just do like so. I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard again and now close this. Put this one on, and there you go. In under three minutes and 30 seconds, I made this color change of this image. And you can see it's a pretty significant 
uh, changed. You can make it more because remember we took down the opacity here. So that is a little bit too much for me. It's, uh, but if we keep it to about 50-ish, 47, 50%. And this picture was already great. In my opinion, it became a lot better. Now it looks more like uh, something you would see on a magazine or something for travel and stuff like that. And that's it. We are on 4 minutes and 13 seconds. If you want to know more tricks and tips about the gradient tool and different things in Affinity Photo, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you want to know. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you uh, hit that notification bell as well. And uh, you will see my last video. If we reached 150 subscribers before August 1st, everybody will be get that wants it will be getting a download link to my light flares so you get those for free it's six of them i'll see you all next time